Hi and welcome in the second part of the boat controller series. So today we're gonna start with the boat controller script. So yeah, let's get started. So we open Unity and we need to delete this cube. Now we need to download this asset from the asset store and then import it. Now we need to drag one of these two prefabs into our scene. And as you can see, they look very, very, very good. And we are going to rename it by Pirate Boat. The next step, we're going to create a folder of name prefabs and we're going to drag the Pirate Boat game object into it. Also, we're going to create another folder of name scripts and we're going to drag the float object script into it. And into the scripts folder, we're going to create a new script of name boat controller script. Cool. Now let's open it with monodevelop. First of all, we need to remove this start function. Now let's add a variable of type vector3 of name uh, com, which is center of mass. Also, we're gonna require a component of type float object script, which is the script that we have created in the last episode. Now we need to define a new function of name balance, which uh, that controls the balance of the boat. And we need to create a new private variable of type transform of name m underscore com so if not m underscore com then that variable will be equal to new game object of name com dot transform and the parent of the com variable will be the transform which is the game object that contain this script simple and the position of that variable will be com which is the vector 3 variable now move that line out of the if statement and we're going to type get component of type project body dot center of mass equal to com or m underscore com dot position now we are done with the balance function let's go to unity editor and we're gonna add mesh collider components to all the game objects that contain a mesh filter component into the boat game object now let's add the boat controller script to the pirate boat game object as you can see we have got a rigid body component a float object script component and the boat controller script to get the center of mass of any game object in Unity 3D, you need to create an empty game object and put it into the pirate boat game object. And put that game object on the top of the boat. And put the negative position values into the COM variable. So let's define a new function of name movement. And then we need to add some variables, public float speed equal to 1, public float movement threshold equal to 10. Also we need to add some private variables, so the first one of type float of name vertical input and the second one also of type float of name movement factor. So we go to the movement function and in that function we're going to add three lines, three simple lines, which are vertical input equal to input.getAxis, the, uh, the name of the axis is vertical. The second line is movement factor equal to mathf.lerp. So we're going to lerp this value from the movement factor itself to the vertical input value 
by uh, the time the delta time divided by movement threshold the third line is transform dot translate zero zero and zero we're gonna remove the last zero with the movement factor times speed now we have done with the movement function let's check it out as you can see we have got a backward movement and forward movement but without steering so we go to mono develop and we create a new function of name steer put it in the update loop and we need to add two other private variables which are horizontal input and steer factor now copy the three lines of the movement function and paste them into the steer function now we need to edit a few things within these uh, three lines and also don't forget to add the steer speed public variable okay as you can see we have done but we still have a problem which is the steering without accelerating actually in reality this doesn't exist as you can see in the unity editor right now so what we're gonna do is so we go to the mono develop and we just need to add times vertical input so i think that's it for this episode thank you for watching i hope you like it if you did don't forget to press the like button otherwise tell us in a comment why you didn't like it and subscribe to our channel also we have a facebook page so like it and a twitter page so follow it and a google plus page also and about the next episode maybe uh, it will be about uh, the water effects of the boat so yeah see you later guys bye